What's up, guys? Game just wrapped up like 10 minutes ago. Colts win 19 to 17. So the six game preseason winning streak is over. So, what can we learn from a game like tonight? Quite a bit, actually. And I'm happy with most of the stuff that I saw out there tonight. A moat for the most part. I came away feeling better about this season than I did before I watched this game. There were a couple things that need to be discussed, some things that are not really the fault of this team, but um, I'm pretty happy with the way the team performed. Let's start with the offense, because honestly, really, you could argue which side of the ball is more interesting to watch right now. I think both sides have their they have something to prove in this preseason, and as far as the starting offense goes, you cannot have a better start to the season. The starters are, you know, most of the starters, no Doug Baldwin, but otherwise, what the starters went out there, they drove down the field, they converted a fourth and one, <clears throat> they ran the ball with Chris Carson, who had a great first drive, uh, Rashad Penny did some pretty good things as well, and... They scored a touchdown, and most of them sat the rest of the game out. So, you cannot ask for... Sorry, guys, it's a little late. Um, you can't ask for a better first drive of the preseason. It's really good when you just get to sit the boys down after the first drive because you're so satisfied with what you saw. Uh, Lockett had a good catch. Um... Vanette obviously brought in the touchdown. Jerron Brown had a nice catch on the sideline. Nothing from Brandon Marshall, which we're going to have to count on Brandon Marshall a little more than I would like this season. I don't really believe that he has that much left, but clearly he has something left. And I'd like to at least see a little bit of it before the real games start. So that was good. The running game looked capable. Carson, like I said, played good. Penny, uh, his first run went for a loss, but then he had a nice cut that led to the uh, five-yard touchdown pass. He um, played pretty well after Wilson went out of the game, had some good carries, had a couple catches. He clearly has talent. Again, I'm sure he's going to contribute for this team in his rookie year. It's just uh, Carson looks like he's a better player, and when I spend a first-round pick on a running back, I would like him to be the best running back on the team immediately, and it doesn't seem like that's what we're getting. But the bright side to that is we now have two dependable running backs. And by the way, Mike Davis, as this game went on, looked pretty good too. So can't ask for much more from that. Backup quarterback situation. Both guys played fine, I guess. Austin Davis played really well. Until he threw that pick in the end zone, a you know terrible pass, no excuse for it, and then he took a couple of sacks and left the game at the end of the half. He he might be the guy, and we're kind of stuck with that. It's certainly not great, but he showed today he can make some NFL throws. He made a couple of them, and I certainly don't want him out there for any meaningful football this year, but. That might be the guy, and he might just be the guy who knows how to take a snap from under center and <clears throat> basically just execute on the most basic level of football. Alex Magoo, Alex McGow, however it is you want to say it. I think he's from not too far from where I am, actually. Uh, he played okay. He, you know, the numbers look all right. He did a lot of dump-offs. He took some sacks. He was under pressure a lot. I'm not going to blame a lot of what happened under on him. He took a couple sacks, like I said, but um, he played all right. <clears throat> I, I don't, I don't mind what I see from him. It doesn't really matter. His odds of making this team are very, very low, but that's fine. So, offensively, <clears throat> until the end of the game in the fourth quarter, <clears throat> the offensive line was getting their ass kicked, <clears throat> and the um, Basically, the offense just couldn't get anything going. There were a lot of penalties on the offense. <clears throat> so that stuff is not great, but they were mostly third stringers at that point. Offensively, oh, God damn, why am I so tired? It's only 10 o'clock. Um, 
De offensively, the only really bad thing that happened tonight for me <clears throat> was uh, Jamarco Jones got hurt, which that sucks. That guy could have been a surprise starter this year, and it looked like he got hurt bad. So that is a promising rookie season, somebody who could have really played for us on the offensive line, and it looks like he's done for the season already. So that's really, really, really not good. We don't like that. Uh, quite a few injuries in the second half of this game for the Seahawks, actually. But that was the one that really struck me as, like, that might matter for this season a lot. Uh, that's the offense. Really positive stuff. Defense. Starters gave up, I think, two field goal drives to Andrew Luck and the boys. Played okay. They got a bit of pressure. Not as much as you would like, but that's probably the kind of pressure we're going to be getting all season. They gave up some plays. Bobby Wagner missed a tackle on Robert Turbin, which you don't like to see that ever, especially not against a guy like Robert Turbin, who we know for a fact runs like a fullback. Um, obviously, some people were getting open, but at the same time, Shaquille Griffin made some nice plays in coverage. I, I liked a couple of the plays he made. We gave up a third down and long on a pass interference penalty that it was pass interference, uh, Trey Flowers, so welcome to the NFL, rookie. And um, Rasheem Green, guys, th this is big. Because Rasheem Green got a sack on Andrew Luck, and he had a half sack later in the game with uh, Martin. I, hold on, let me look up his first name real quick. I want to get this right. Jacob Martin. And those guys are going to potentially mean a lot to this team this year because Averill, Bennett, both gone. Uh, Freeney, we had him for like a month last year. Uh, we're not going to have him this year. Um, Deion Jordan, we don't know when he's going to be healthy at this point. Rasheem Green and possibly Jacob Martin need to ball out this year and tonight. Rasheem Green, seven tackles, sack and a half, a tackle for loss, and three hits on the quarterback. Those are, that's Michael Bennett type stuff. Michael Bennett got involved on all aspects of the defense, and Rasheem Green really did tonight. And he did some of it against the starters because he sacked Andrew Luck early in this game. So, big game for Rasheem Green. Jacoby Martin getting in there with a the half sack as well. Love to see it. Um, Delano Hill, five tackles and two for a loss. He might end up playing a huge role on the defense this year. We don't know what's going on with Earl Thomas. And probably the biggest story of the night was Shaquem Griffin, one-armed Shaquem Griffin leading the team in tackles. He was basically involved in every play when he was on the field. Nine tackles, including one for a loss. Beautiful. Really encouraged by that. Brandon Jackson pressured the quarterback one time late in the game. Um, pretty good by the defense. Uh, we gave up the one touchdown drive in, I think, the fourth quarter. We gave up some, uh, we missed some tackles. There was a little bit of sloppy tackling out there. I think, uh, Quentin Jefferson might have gotten banged up a bit, which would be very tragic if he missed at any time this year. So hopefully that is not serious. And, um, basically the... Players that are really important to this season mostly looked fine. The ones who didn't, I'm not too worried about. Uh, Bark Various Bark Barkevius Mingo got a sack as well. I want to give him a shout out because he might play this year too. That's could be a big deal for this team. So um, until the end of this game, when there started being a lot of penalties, a lot of sloppiness, some missed tackles, like the offense. Um, I was fine with most everything I saw, and you expect your third stringers to be sloppy in the first game of the preseason, so I'm not even going to waste too much energy being unhappy with that. Special teams, guys, Michael Dixon, I don't see how he doesn't win over this um, fan base. I don't see how he doesn't win over this... Uh, this uh, front office, I don't see how he doesn't have the starting job by week one because that guy has a chance to be one of the best punters in the league. He, he he has the physical attributes to become one of the best punters in the league very quickly. And it might just be time to move on, but I am very, very happy with Michael Dixon. Very interesting skill set that he has. Uh, we made our one field goal in the game, uh, Jason Myers. So good news. That's going to be something that a lot of uh, Se Seahawks fans are going to be watching 
intently this season because we really need that to work this year. And basically, until the fourth quarter, we played pretty well. In the fourth quarter, things got messy, but um, what else are you going to get in the first game of the preseason? I mean, the Colts had the same problem, too. The Colts couldn't complete a snap from center in the fourth quarter with their backups. I mean, they, they blew three snaps in a row at one point in this game. So that's just what it is. I'm pretty happy. Um, we got another game next week. Going to be a little more interesting than this one, maybe. But um, I saw what I needed to see tonight. I think we all did. And see you all then.